Hi, now in this tutorial what I want to show you is how we work out these values. We've got numbers to fractional powers and to do this we're going to use these laws of indices. And for the first example here, 8 to the power of third and for 25 to the power of half, what we do is we use this first law that x to the power 1 over n is equal to the nth root of x. So for this first example, 8 to the power third, the x is the 8 and the n is the 3. All right? So this is going to be the third root of 8. We often call it the cube root when we use the 3. So the cube root of 8 is going to be 2 because we're looking for a number repeatedly multiplied over three times by itself giving 8. So that's going to be 2. 2 times 2 times 2 gives 8. So 8 to the power of third equals 2. Now we have 25 to the power of half. With this one, the x is the 25 and the n is the 2. So this is going to be the second root, if you like, of 25. But we don't call it the second root, we always call it the square root. And also, you don't need to put that 2 in, because by default, if you haven't got any number here, then we understand it to be the square root or second root. What is the square root of 25? Well, it's 5, because 5 multiplied by itself gives the 25. Now, in this next section, I've changed from the 1 at the top of the fraction to another number. You can see that we've got here a 2, 8 to the power 2 thirds. The number on the bottom just behaves exactly the same as what we were doing over here with this rule. But what this is, is given by this rule here. x to the power m over n is always equal to x to the power 1 over n, the nth root of x, but raised to the power m. So we've got the nth root of x raised to the power m. So I'm going to use this rule up here. 8 to the power 2 thirds then becomes 8 to the power 1 third all squared. Okay, that 2 is that 2 at the top there. Well, we know what 8 to the third means by this rule. It means the cube root, the cube root in this case of 8. But we now have to square the result. So put that in brackets and square it. So what have we got? Well, we know the cube root of 8 is 2 from over here. And we've now got to square this. So 2 squared is 4. So 8 to the 2 thirds is 4. But you'll also notice that I've got the same, or appears to be the same rule, down here. It's an alternative version. And I'll show you how this works. x to the power m over n, what we do is we interchange, if you like, the m and the 1 over n, as we had up here. This is the same as x to the power m, all raised to the power 1 over n. So in other words, what you do is you do the nth root of x to the power m. I'll show you. So we've got, or, we've got this other version, 8 to the 2 thirds. What we do is we take the top number first of all, the 2, and in this case it's going to be 8 squared, and then this is raised to the power a third. So what is 8 squared? Well, it's 64. So we have 64 to the power of third. 64 to the power of third, by this rule, means that we cube root the 64. And what is the cube root of 64? Well, it's 4, because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. The problem is, I personally don't like using this version if I'm working it out without a calculator. Why? Because what happens is you end up with a big number here to do 
a root on a cube root in this case or it could be a square root or fourth root or whatever but it's going to be a big number here compared to this version which gives you a smaller number to root and it's quite often easier to make sure you're rooting a small number because then the answers tend to be ones that are more familiar so I'd always go for this version okay now in this last example you'll notice that what I've got here is not only a fractional power but I've got the minus sign here so this is going to use this rule up here along with the negative rule for indices or powers do you know what that negative rule is well we looked at it earlier it's this one that if you've got anything to a negative power x to the minus n it's equal to 1 over x to the that power n okay so in this particular example the n is 3 over 2. So we now know that this is the same as 1 divided by 16 to the power 3 over 2. So we have the 1, but what is 16 to the power 3 over 2? Well, using this result up here, it's going to be the square root of 16 because we've got 16 to the power half here because the 2 is in the denominator of this fraction so that's the square root of 16 and then with the 3 we cube this result we know the square root of 16 is 4 so we've got 1 over 4 and the 4 is cubed and 4 cubed is 64 so we have 1 over 64 okay well, that essentially brings us to the end of this tutorial. And I'd like to think that you've got sufficient examples here that you can model any other similar examples on and just follow these methods. So I hope that's okay for you. And that brings us now to the end.